There is geometry in the humming of the strings. There is music and the spacing of the spheres. These are the words of Pythagoras, the well-known Greek philosopher from the island of Samos. What he and his pupils, known as Pythagoreans, were trying to do was to construct the whole universe out of numbers, as Aristotle once wrote. And to explore that theory and to teach it to his students, Pythagoras invented a musical instrument. And this is exactly what I have in front of me, an amazing replica of an ancient monochord. Did you ever wonder why one string produces a sound, a note, while another produces a different one? Also, why harmonics have such a perfect sound, but everything else around doesn't have that sweet spot sound? Even more, what are the ancient roots of today's music theory? Monochord is ideal to demonstrate the relationship between the frequency sound of a plugged string and its length. To put it simply, Pythagoras' theory states that if we will change the length of the string, then we will produce a different beat. So specific lengths will produce different but very specific pitches. Let's listen to some random notes in the beginning. that the smaller the length, the higher the pitch. And the opposite. The longer the length, the lower the pitch. Now, let's be more specific. For example, we have the open string where its length is 50 centimeters according to our ruler. And the pitch is the C note. Now, according to Pythagoras, if I will divide my string into two, then I will take 25 centimeters. And this is exactly the place where I will have my movable bridge. And now, I will listen to the new beat it is produced. C. I have the same note but an octave higher. Let's compare now these two notes again. C. C. Exactly on the 25. Did you get that right? Isn't it great that we understand exactly what's going on behind our music theory? To make our life easier, Luthiero's skillful workshop manufacture a second version of a monochord, a monochord with two strings. And why is this so helpful? It is giving us the opportunity to compare the different lengths with the open string, without the need to put in and take out the movable bridge constantly. So if you will move on with this procedure, you will uh, take all the intervals and you will realize at the end that we, you will take even the diminished second or the diminished nine. Yes. So this will give you the ability to go further. Maybe you're already there. Maybe if you want to go uh, more in the depth of ancient Greek music, then you will be able, with the monochord of Pythagoras, to find out the three basic genera of the ancient Greek music. The diatonic, the chromatic and the enharmonic. And all this thanks to monochord of Pythagoras, an ancient sonometer, both musical and scientific instrument. Music in ancient Greek life was an integral part of 
almost every aspect. Back then, to understand music was so crucial. They were explaining everything through music. Virtues, immorality, astronomy, mathematics, the sense of justice, and so on. The monochord with one string, the movable breeds and the rule straddled the gap between the notes and the numbers, the sense perception and the mathematical reason, and the intervals and the ratios. I couldn't agree more with that and I'm really happy that a piece of ancient musical wisdom is now a part of my home and of my family's life. If you want to be inspired by great lyre players around the world or to get access to more free tutorials then just hit the subscribe button just below the video and stay tuned. Numerous of video premieres each week inspired by the world's ancient music.